Okay, so I'm going to try to use adrenaline as soon as I get into the battle, and hopefully that's going to work. Free trip. There are things. Okay, so I have been through this uh, before. You lie. You tris. You. I don't. But maybe now. Time to. Surround him. Yes, surround me. Oh my God! Give me a chance. Oh my god. They're not all in the... Oh! Yeah, there's a couple who weren't in the field. That definitely helps, but I need to get those archers in the field as well, so... Surround him! Come on. How did he block? <laughs> Shame to the Empire. Shield bearers, forward! Okay. I actually had to do that battle twice because uh, the first time I beat these guys, um, I couldn't save Triss. Uh, I couldn't interact with her. Let's head inside here and grab the... Oh, oh there's a chest here as well. A Nilfgaardian Falconer's Cortless. Okay. Didn't see that the first time. Let's grab the letter there as well. Is there anything else here? That's pretty much it. Okay, so there's some stairs leading down. And, uh, yeah, when I went, uh, I beat those guys before. Came down here and I couldn't interact with Triss at all. Couldn't talk to her, couldn't free her, couldn't do anything. So, just, I'm hoping that it's worked this time. I had a look on the forums and they said that you needed to kill the big boss, uh, the commander there, using a sword, which I did do, and not magic, and that should trigger a um, cutscene down here. Please work. Yes, I can talk to her. Oh, thank goodness. Geralt? Didn't expect to see me. Are you kidding? The only person you expect to see in a Nilfgaardian dungeon is the Executioner. Did they torture you? They tried various... things. But they got nothing from me. When I left Flotsam with Vernon, I somehow doubted I'd find you so soon. I know it was hard on you. I'll never forget this, you hear? Never. I'd slaughter half the Nilfgaardian army for a friend. I know you're a member of the Lodge, Triss. How do you know the Lodge? Does it matter? I also know the Lodge was behind Demavan's assassination. Geralt, I... I trust you. True. I'm a member of the Lodge. Just like eight other sorceresses. But if you think I'm responsible for the Lodge's actions, you're badly mistaken. The Lodge is a theater for two actresses. Sheila and Philip have long dominated it. To the point where you didn't know about the murder they planned? To the point where I was no longer invited to gatherings. Why? They stopped trusting me. Because you didn't agree with them? Nine women very rarely agree on anything. The actual problem was that... <sighs> Tell me. I was close to you. If Sheila fears anyone, it's Geralt of Rivia. The Lodge did everything to convince me that our relationship didn't bother them, even that it suited them. But they manipulated me. Through me, they fed you select information. Depending on the circumstances, they twisted facts. We're still close. They could still be doing it. Don't insult me.
Calm down, Triss. Reynold Ep Matson claimed otherwise, but I'll always take your word over that of some Nilfgaardian lowlifes. Now, you'll tell me everything you know. I need to learn the truth. All existing councils of mages disintegrated after the Thanad massacre. We all acted separately. Philippa decided to create a new organization, a secret one this time. When I was sworn in, it never crossed my mind that the Lodge's plans would soon become secret to its members. As you know, Philip was not one for minor undertakings. She presented a plan for creating a powerful state controlled by sorceresses. No wonder the kings are opposing the sorceresses. Nobody likes a schemer. Philippa and Sheila never lacked ideas or enthusiasm. To control a powerful state, they needed to create one first. Or find a wealthy land with a suitable political arrangement and an easily manipulated ruler. Sheila chose the Pontar Valley, Denevend, and Stennis. Denevend hated mages. No more than Henselder read of it. Sheila and Philippa saw Denevend as the weakest ruler. His son, Stennis, blows hot and cold. Plus, he who controls the Pontar Valley controls the north. So it was in Edirn that a popular rebel emerged preaching the idea of a new state. At one of our meetings, I just asked how they imagined overthrowing Demavend. That was the last time I was invited. After Demavend's death, I became suspicious but had no evidence. Philippa brushed me off. When you went off to meet Yorveth and Sheila was busy with the Karen's carcass, I managed to scan parts of her megascope. That's when I learned that Sheila had dealings with Letho. Why didn't you tell me? I wanted to. We never met after that. Letho must have shadowed me when I entered Sheila's room. Then he forced me to teleport us to somewhere near Vergen. Did you talk to him? He wasn't aggressive. In Vergen, he told me that Sheila commissioned them to assassinate Demavend. Them being the Witchers of the School of the Viper. Sheila helped them prepare the assassination. I wonder why he told you about it. Is that important? Conspirators who suddenly divulge everything. I'd be suspicious. There was some interference as we teleported to Edirn. I emerged intact, but pretty battered. I knew Philippa was in the area. I decided to go see her and lay my cards on the table. Maybe Letho wanted just that. I met a woman at Philippa's house. Thought she was just a servant or Philippa's lover. Before I could speak, I was overpowered by spells. I hardly expected an attack. The pain I felt as my body was compressed. It's indescribable. As if all my bones were being broken. It's even worse when you return to your true form. In any case, Philippa had no idea her lover was a Nilfgaardian spy. I was carried as that figurine all the way to Loch Muin. Asira decompressed me back just before they murdered her. Shillard interrogated me but learned nothing. If it wasn't for you, they'd have had me court. I didn't piece the puzzle together until I was here, in the dungeon. Now you know everything. Who had Foltest assassinated? I have no idea. Perhaps after Demavent's successful assassination, Sheila and Philippa decided to take the next step. That would be stupid. Killing Demavent was a way to take control of the Pontar Valley. People would forget the regicide in a year, and the Lodge could put its plan in motion. They had to know that if Voltes died, men like Roach wouldn't rest until they learned why that had happened. One thing is certain. Letho killed Voltes, and Sheila was working with Letho. Ever find out what Sheila was actually doing in Flotsam? I find it hard to believe she went there just to kill a monster and earn a few horns. You're right, of course. It had something to do with Letho and the Scoyatel. What did she want from Yorveth? The Scoyatel were Saskia's trump card. I expect Sheila needed to know what the elves would do, given that a war with Hensel was practically inevitable. Did Saskia know the Lodge's plans? She didn't even know the Lodge existed. Philippa told her that the sorceresses would support an independent state in the Pontar Valley, no strings attached. A fairy tale, but Saskia bought it. Saskia backed Philippa, and the people backed Saskia. Hmm, okay. I'll have to do for now. We'll learn more at the talks. You're going to attend? You have no memory of how the world worked before the Thanid massacre. Actually, I know exactly how it worked. That means... We'll talk about my memory later. 
All right. If the Council and Conclave still existed, kings wouldn't be assassinated and massacres would be less frequent. This is our chance to restore these institutions, and we shouldn't miss it. Normalizing relations between the rulers and the mages who advise them is our only chance for peace. And our only chance to dismantle the Lodge. The Lodge will disintegrate anyway. Once the Kings learn it was behind the assassinations, they'll start a witch hunt. We can prevent that from happening. I'm all for punishing the guilty, but can't abide collective responsibility. I'm ready to go and reveal everything I know about Philippa Eilhart, Sheila de Tanserville, and their schemes. Let's go then. Beatrice out of the Nilfgaardian camp. I have a feeling the other rulers aren't going to be too happy with her and all of the other mages. It could be bad news, but hopefully we can keep the peace. I have a funny feeling we're not going to be able to keep the peace and there's going to be more more battles ahead for Geralt. Now, how many of these of Guardians are left? Oh, sorry. Triss? Those Nilf Guardians, that's your work? They followed their leader too blindly. You killed them all. They didn't slaughter themselves. Well, we had no choice. How do we get out of this camp, by the way? Through the door? Beatrice out of the Nilfgaardian camp. I guess we should get out of here quickly. Well, there's all these dead bodies running around. Uh, lying around, I should say. <laughs> Not running around. Okay, are we out of the camp? I think so. We shouldn't arrive at the same time. Let's split up. I don't want to lose you again. Don't trust the other sorceresses. The Lodge remembers too. Rest assured, I won't let anyone compress me again. Some of the sorceresses will be surprised to see you. Watch them closely. Don't worry, I'll manage. See you at the talks. All right. Aha, level up. So we might get some time to wander around and uh, complete some of the other quests before we go. There's uh, Kimbolt to deal with as well. Talk to Triss before entering the amphitheater. Uh, we have leveled up. Is that two level ups? I guess I can have a quick look. Oh, three level ups. Nice. Okay. Have to figure out what to do with that. Completed the Triss Merigold quest. Uh, better do a quick save of the game. Lots of experience. And quick look at the journal. See if there's something else. The Gargoyle contract. I still don't know where to go for that. Um, the Assassins of Kings. Oh, we need to forge the Vran armor. Lilies and Vipers. Kimbolt. Alright, let's go talk to Natalis, I think, and tell him about the letter from Baron Kimbolt. <laughs>